Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to play some more Chrono Photo. My goal is to be the first guy on YouTube to hit 4,500 points. I think the current record is a little over 4,100 by GeoWizard. So we're on the road to 4,500 points. Let's jump right in. I'll commentate the first couple and then if I don't hit it, I will do a time lapse until we get to some good rounds. Right off the bat, this looks old. I'm thinking World War I. They have their numbers for, I assume, like their divisions or platoons or something. Yep, I'm going to guess 1918 with this one. And we were pretty solid. 1916, two years off. I can't complain about that. Ooh, okay, so this is Hillary Clinton with Vern Troyer. I believe that's who that is, and I also believe he passed away recently. I don't think this can be any later than, like, 2016. How old does she look here? It could even be a little earlier. I mean, the photo quality is not the best, but it looks like it was just taken on someone's iPhone. Is that Vern Troyer? That might not be. I'm still sticking with my guess of 2016. And it was 2014, so another one where we were only two years off. We are getting awfully close to that 4,500 mark. If we miss more than 500 points, we can't hit it. And we're already down 302. So we have to be spot on for the rest of these. Okay. So we're at a beach here. The men are wearing tight shorts. I mean, look, he's even showing off a little cheek. He has a sailor hat on. Looks like bikinis are just starting to become prevalent. Based on the quality of this photo, though, I think it's a little bit older. Because it's a pretty sharp image. But his sailor cap is really throwing me. Is that just beach wear or is this the World War era? I think this is a little bit older than World War II. I'm going to go with 1936. And I wouldn't be surprised if it's a little older. Oh, wow. It was 46. So I definitely threw that one. But we're still going to keep going. I mean, we can still get around 4,000. Let's just keep chugging along and see what happens. The D returns to New York. So this is the D train or the double decker, I guess. New York bus division. When did the D come back to New York? Well, this gentleman here, let's go with his wardrobe. It has a button up. He looks kind of like um, Bob from that 70s show. I think that was his name, The Neighbor. The redhead's dad. But I don't think this is the 70s. I think it's a little bit later. I'm going to go 1981. Oh, so it was the 70s. 76. Which is coincidentally right when that show took place. So, should have went with my gut there. Final image for this round. Let's see here. So this a flooded street... Is that a horse and carriage, or is that a car? That looks like it might be a car. Wow, this was really flooded. There's not a ton to go on here, but just based on the car overlap, I'm going to go 1910. And it was 1914, so we ended with a score of 3388. Not the best, not the worst. My high score is 39 and change, so we can do better. I'm going to jump into the next game.
All right, guys, going to start commentating this one now. We did all right on that first picture. Nothing to write home about. So is this U.S. in the, if this is in the U.S., and I think this is the Hoovervilles, which were during the Great Depression. So let's go 1937. It was 1933. I'm already right on the edge of the score I'd like, but we're going to keep going because this could be a good round. H.N. Worth Fish and Oyster Market. Well, these gentlemen look like some hard workers. I think this is old. I think this is really old. Well, they have rail cars. When did that start? Probably well before 1900. I'm going to guess 1903. And it was 1902, so this was well old. All right, this has been a good round so far. Hope I don't jinx it with this. What is this? I have no idea, but this would not pass health and safety today. <laughs> and they wouldn't let that gentleman climb it like that either. I think this is also really old because it is horse and buggy stagecoach, maybe. This Maybe this was when they were just putting electricity in the Old West or something. But I'm going to jump in and say this is like 1907. And it was 1911. So, I mean, if we get a perfect score here, we've got 4,100. So that's something to aim for. And it might just be possible here. So these are Korean letters, maybe, or Japanese. I mean, when it comes to the Korean-Japanese, you always want to guess one of the wars. I can't quite tell who these gentlemen are back here. Could that be Mao Zedong? When did he die? Oh, you have to really bring in my history knowledge here. I have no idea when Mao Zedong died. Maybe it's not even Mao. I don't know. Oh, I have a decent score. I really don't want to stumble here. If that's not Mao, that could be anyone. That could be... I mean, I can't even see it well enough. It could be Hirohito. I don't think it's Hirohito, to be fair. Oh, I'm going to go 1951. That way I can kind of hedge the ending of World War II and the start of Korea. Oh, I don't know about this guess. 1957. So we only ended up with 3,700 points. Well, guys, I think this is where I'm going to end it today. On the road to 4,500 points. I played quite a few games today. I'll hit up a few more tomorrow, see what I can do. I'm going to be posting updates to this every Saturday until we hit 4,500 points. So if you want to follow along, make sure you like and subscribe. Keep coming back for more. If you have any tips about how to date some of these, please drop them in the comments. Thanks for stopping by.